400,000 children in the United States will become victims of sexual abuse this year, according to recent statistics. And unfortunately, many of them will never speak up to try to get help. As part of our Child Abuse Prevention Month coverage, CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli has been looking into why victims, in most cases, don't tell. You were supposed to protect me from the boogeyman and the neighborhood bullies. But instead, it was you who terrorized me at night. Tabitha West is talking to her abuser. Seven years I grew up holding on to your dirty big secret that was silently breaking me. It was sexual abuse that was breaking Tabitha from the age of seven to when she finally spoke up at 13 about when this picture was taken. Now at 43, she's broken her silence to share her story through spoken word and for the first time on TV. I told God, I said, you know what, I, okay, I'll tell my story if it uh, helps set at least one person free. And while much attention is placed on churches, camps, and schools, Tabitha urges parents and loved ones of children to look in a far more obvious place. For me, home was the most dangerous place. And statistics back her up. Over 90% of children who experience sexual abuse, their perpetrator is someone that they know. And about 60% of those cases are people that are within the same family as those children. It's a reality that's so disturbing that the problem is all too often ignored while children suffer in silence. So it's hard to fight something that a lot of people just don't want to admit is actually happening. Statistics show rape is the most underreported crime, and in the case of children, it's far worse, with just 12% of child sexual abuse reported to authorities. So it's especially maddening for the head of the Children's Advocacy Center when victims are asked this all too common question. Why didn't you say something all those years ago? It's so common for kids not to tell and so common for people to push down those feelings and push down you know, what happened to them that I think the better question is why would you tell? Tabitha told one adult who didn't believe her, but then she told her father who brought her into his home ending years of abuse. When he found out and he took you out of the home immediately, what do you think he did to you that day? Save my life. Now she's hoping to save the lives of other young children by telling her story and giving them hope. You're not alone. Don't be ashamed. And it's time to end it. Speak up to end it. That was Mike Puccinelli reporting. There are 42 million survivors of child sexual abuse in the United States. When we next cover the issue, we'll shine the spotlight on prevention.